So what made you decide that you were going to go to Columbia and buy gems to come back and sell in America? Uh, I had a friend that was uh, going to Columbia, and he invited me, uh, particularly if I would help invest with him. So I agreed, and off we went. We went to a mining town, and it was re- uh, reported that uh, uh, it was in the mountains, and the seven miles into town was uh, a spot where they would uh, uh, rob you and kill you if necessary. We went up to the mine. They allowed us in, and we uh, went to where they were mining the uh, what gem emeralds. Em- oh, emeralds. emeralds. Mm. Emeralds, and uh, this is uh, one of the most productive areas of emeralds in the world there. And the Columbia government, uh, they regulate it, so everything goes through the government. So if you buy emeralds without except from the government, you are breaking the law. Therefore, we had to, you might say, smuggle. (laughs) We just carried them out in our pockets. (laughs) I think that would be called smuggling (laughs) or stealing. No, we paid paid for them. them. Oh, there you go. So we didn't steal them. There you go. Uh, also, when we were in uh, the main town there, we purchased emeralds that uh, supposedly they they had smuggled. Smugglers had smuggled, so we bought uh, we bought them there also. What would be a black market? Dirty, dirty emeralds. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. And uh, yes, we when we left the town of Musso, uh, we drove very fast, and uh, we saw people on the road that might have tried to ambush us. But that was the only real problems that we had. Two days later, there were three people killed on that road and uh, were robbed. You're either bringing money into the town or you're leaving with the gems. So one way or another, uh, they would uh, ambush you. Was Um, it worth the effort? (laughs) Didn't make a great deal of money, but it's a very interesting uh, situation, yes. Uh, yeah, it's a story you can tell Dude, 50 yeah. years later on the radio. Right. I want to tell all our listeners in closing, thank you for spending time with us. We hope you've heard or learned something that's been inspiring or enlightening, and that it, whatever it is, will help you up your business, your independence, or your life. I'm Kerry McCoy, and I'll see you next time on Up In Your Business. Until then, be brave and keep it up. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the picture of Carrie's face in the center of the screen. To watch the full-length interview, click the video in the top right. For more interview highlights, click the video in the bottom right. Thank you for watching.